hello everyone uh, welcome to another uh, tutorial for mysql uh, today we will be discussing uh, how like so far uh, what we have done is uh, we have installed and we have learned how to install mysql 8 uh, on various platform uh, which is uh, uh, like from many ways uh, installing from mysql yum uh, repositories and binary turbos if you haven't seen the previous session uh, please uh, go to the channel and check for the uh, concern for check for your required uh, installation uh, you can find it so along with the installation what we do the installation what we get is a command line utility uh, which we called is mysql so we will know how to use that today and uh, first uh, what you need to know uh, is uh, which server you are going to connect and if you have installed mysql on the uh, on the Linux or any so you need to know the IP of that if you are uh, going to connect uh, using uh, MySQL uh, local host uh, and then you can mention the local host as well okay so then uh, if you uh, once you know the local host then what you need uh, is to know is the what port you are going to connect and once you know uh, your IP and the uh, port uh, uh, by default mysql is uh, created on the port uh, 3306 uh, if you have uh, done the installation on different port you need to know uh, which port you have used okay so and uh, uh, next thing is uh, what you need is the user and the password so if you haven't created your user yet uh, admin user uh, what you can do is to you can use your uh, root user uh, but only uh, at the local host so you cannot connect to your mysql uh, from the uh, remotely uh, like in like you cannot connect from uh, mysql sysbench uh, like this uh, i have connected a uh, mysql workbench so uh, this is from here you cannot connect to uh, your database what i have done is i have uh, created a user uh, which is uh, here you see the user is admin admin i have created a different user and then i have connected to it so you cannot use uh, your root user okay uh, what i wanted to tell you that how you can connect uh, what you do is uh, you uh, use is mysql uh, you can connect it like this because i'm connecting like this because i have stored my password somewhere in my configuration that's why i'm not giving any password uh, let's not get make you confused uh, let's be clear this how you can connect what you do is mysql minus u uh, minus u is uh, is for the user what i'm going is uh, doing is providing my root user minus p what i'm doing is providing my uh, password i have stored it here this is my password either i give it here uh, like this uh, can go the uh, password here directly either uh, i can what i can do is uh, like this and it will ask the password uh, and then i can uh, enter uh, never use your password on screen always uh, use it the second way like this because uh, your password will get stored in the history and someone who wants to uh, get your password he can get your password from the history so this is how uh, you can do it uh, the small minus uh, there is a uh, p small p and there is a, a capital p sorry there is a capital p uh, like this uh, which is used for the port okay and then minus h which is used for the uh, minus h small h which is used for the host and then we have minus s capital s which is we use for the socket file so you can like you have multiple instances you can provide the minus p uh, port another port your uh, server is running then or you can provide the socket file uh, socket file you can provide and then uh, what you can do is provide your host uh, name as well if you want to connect another server from this server to another server then you provide is your host so as we are connected to the local host so we didn't do we do not need any sort of uh, providing the local host what it will do is it, it will directly connect our current running server okay so now uh, what i am done is i have connected to the user uh, to the mysql uh, client so obviously when you connect to the first time what you have to need to do is to create a database so that's uh, so now uh, how we are going to create a database okay so creating a database uh, is very simple uh, it's not uh, that complex like other uh, 
like other uh, RDBMS we have, what we do is to create what we do is here create database, and I'm going to create a test database too. Uh, so this is how we create our database. Now, uh, if I want to uh, do some changes, like I want to know uh, the create statement of your database, create state, uh, create database. This is uh, sh sorry, uh, show uh, create database. Uh, now I want to uh, test. It. Okay, so this is how the create database statement work in the uh, back end. So this is the default character set. So what we have is uh, UTF-8, and the, what is the collision we have? Uh, this is a collision we have, and encryption we don't have uh, by default. So you have to uh, enable or disable your encryption uh, by default. So this is how uh, we can do. Uh, this is how we create our database, and you if you you can alter uh, this uh, some collision as well. You can alter your character set as well. That we will do uh, later. And uh, okay, uh, how many databases we have uh, currently? So what we do is uh, show databases. This show us like how currently these are all the databases I have. Uh, information, uh, MySQL, Performance, and Sys are uh, default. Uh, Databases uh, which comes in installation uh, test and test two I have created right now. Okay, now uh, if you do uh, any uh, like uh, what I am doing to do is uh, like uh, select uh, one. Uh, it coming, but uh, what if I am going to create any table like uh, create table and uh, what I am going to say that uh, a and I'm going to int so it's saying it uh, okay, just like if I'm going to create any table okay, sorry I didn't provide a name so what I was saying that you haven't created uh, any database uh, you, uh, before creating any table you have to select a database so okay uh, if I want to uh, execute uh, any uh, command which is uh, which we learn on the which we uh, which we run uh, on our uh, what do you say on the host on the on the Linux so this is how we can do like uh, currently I want to clear so this is how like I create run this clear statement because this is a uh, OS command so this is uh, you can do it like this so what I was saying that how show databases so uh, how obviously how I can uh, connect uh, to a database and so then this is done by use and then we give a database name uh, currently I'm using the test database then only I can create a table now uh, this is how we can create a table so if you see here I have created a table okay so now uh, I want to list all the tables I have uh, inside uh, this database uh, okay First, I want to know which database I have connected. Uh, then that can be done uh, by select database. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Okay, I have select database. Okay. So this is telling me that uh, currently I'm connected to a database which is called test. Okay. So now uh, I want to know uh, I'm connected to the this data uh, the this test database. Uh, but I want to know. Uh, how many tables I have so what we do is show tables so currently I have this t3 as a table and okay so now I, ha I have this uh, t table and I want to know like uh, what is the script used for this t table t3 table and now what I do is show create table then t3 uh, then slash g slash g is i am using uh, just to print all the output in the row format because you see this is my column one which is called table uh, this is my create table if i don't do it like this if i don't use this t3 uh, slash g it will print it in a column wise so uh, what g slash g does is it's print all the information in row wise uh, so that's it's like easy to uh, print and uh, it does not like interfere because if you see this column one this co second column is interfering into this first column so now row wise it's like clean and clean output so you can get the output like this so it's a table name is t3 and this was the command used uh, like 
and default is null engine because default engine is in ODB engine and character set is this is default collision is this is the default so it will pick all the default things uh, uh, by default so this is how uh, you can connect your database MySQL and few commands I have shown uh, like uh, how you can create a database how you can switch between database okay one more thing uh, what we did is that we connected to the MySQL database and then after that, after that uh, we uh, tried to switch between database uh, what I can do is I can also uh, connect to any database from here directly I don't need to switch any database so if you like do like this uh, then I have connected to uh, a database which is called test if I want to know which database I am connected if you see I have connected to the test database because I have mentioned while connecting to this database that I want to connect to the test database so this is how I have connected to the database okay one more thing uh, just to tell you guys uh, if I want to uh, execute any command from the shell uh, what I do is uh, like uh, currently I want to know what is the version of my database so this is how I can do it so if you see what I have to do is to provide minus e command and select version and this will uh, this has uh, run the command on my SQL server and provided me the output here in the shell and I haven't I don't need to connect to the my SQL command comma uh, SQL comma uh, SQL server okay I haven't provided any user and password because uh, I have stored my password in my uh, what do you say my configuration file uh, if I show you here uh, cat slash etc my dot cnf what I have done is that any client can, uh, client uh, like which try to connect with this user uh, from local host you what you will do is uh, if the user is this and this is the password it 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 is going to use so I because I do I'm connecting uh, because if I do only my SQL what it does is is uh, get the password from here uh, like the root uh, user and the password from here so I have stored the, these two here this will connect directly and I, I don't need to uh, provide every time provide a password and a username so uh, this is how uh, if you want to store your password here but this is not safe uh, we have another uh, utility which is called mysql config editor uh, where there you can store your password and it is stored in uh, encrypted way so uh, you no one can see your password okay and we have a mysql shell as well there also you can store your password and that is an encrypted uh, this it's stored in an encrypted way and this is the best way to use so we will do the mysql shell as well but in future uh not not too far away but as soon as possible maybe next week i uh, will be uh, providing session on mysql shell but my sql shell is a, set, a very uh, big topic uh, it might require for to like around maximum around one hour lecture uh, so stay tuned uh, i will be doing uh, more lecture uh, as soon as possible that's it for today uh, in the next lecture we will be discussing few more thing uh, i will get back to you soon